due respect to that gentleman. You, you I remember? Don't think he was an ape or anything, but I tell you what, he was as big as that to me. You remember my cousin Lorenzo? He I, looks kind of like that. <laughs> he was a big dude, anyway. No, I'm talking about the way his nostrils flaring. Oh, everything. I see. Go ahead. Anyway, I used to love that show Seinfeld, and I drew this picture of Jerry right there. Oh, are you trying to tell me that's Jerry Seinfeld? Well, I. It did my best shot with it. Looks, looks more like, okay, now, Jerry Seinfeld. I'm going to tell you the truth, Buford. If Jerry Seinfeld and Jay Leno had a child, that'd be him right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I brought something here today, Anthony, and I'm kind of proud of it. This was my great-great-granddaddy's, uh, he was First Texas Infantry, okay? And he was on the wrong side, as we understand it. <laughs> but I can blow this thing. I can play this in the key of L, okay? <laughs> Wait. Okay, anyway, what would something like that be worth? Not much of what you play. <laughs> Mr. Bojangles, we call him BJ. Oh. He loves them peanuts. And every now and then, Buford and I will feed him. He's been doing that for six, seven years now. He's crazy. Here you go. Come on over. kind of selective but we usually try to use these unsalted nuts and he'll come around every morning and beg just like a vagrant kind of reminds me of me how this be for Tarin and he don't know but I'm gonna show you mine this is my bow that I had when I was 10 years old and these are my arrows and they ain't as fancy as his bow but I guarantee you I can hit that target just as well as he can. <laughs> There he goes again, making fun. Always making fun. I can imitate, I can emulate. You said emulate, right? Yeah. I thought I emulated so much you hang from your neck, but uh, I can emulate. I like that word, and I'm going to sit on that a while. I can emulate Tom Jones. You said profound. I have never heard you say that. Do you want that name? I know you don't. Do you, do you want to hear a little bit of a Tom Jones? Sure. Right now? Okay. <laughs> so now I'm putting myself up on the spot. Yes, he did, folks. Okay, here goes. That's called here stepping go. into it. That's, that's, yeah, 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 right. Okay, here goes. I'm serious. Okay. Here. Let me yeah. close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> you will hear Tom in this. You ready, folks? Okay. It's not unusual to hear women. I gotta get the word. Okay, here. It's not unusual to go out at any time. It's not unusual to go out on just a dime, but if you ever find that you've changed at any time, your name might be Bruce Jenner. You know how that goes? Um, it's close. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, listen. Well, hi, everybody. How y'all doing today? How you doing? Today's show is really special. It's going to be about the grand old game of golf. <laughs> I thought you was going to say Grand old opera. Wait a minute. Golf. That's right. I said golf. Ain't that kind of a city boy thing? It's not a city boy thing. I know plenty of folks. That, that's not what I said, Buford. I said, never mind. You know, folks, today everybody's trying to separate us and into these little groups and things. And you know what? There's something that brings us all together, and that's golf. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Was all of this really necessary? We're just going to have ourselves a good time okay, today. But there's only one thing that bothers me is who killed these people? Those are not tombstones, Carlisle. They're not? No, they're not tombstones. Those are called the tea markers. The tea, that's where you put your tea down there and hit it down to that hole way down there. Are, are you sure that they're not marking graves? I'm absolutely positive. That's kind of scary. And you know what, Carlisle? We didn't do too bad. Didn't do too good, neither. Well... That's really now what's important, folks. It's, it's the blue sky and the green grass and all of them critters we saw up there on the tree. <laughs> 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 
lot hotter here. <laughs> of Cheatham and Steel. Is that an ambulance I hear, Mr. Steel? No, Mr. Cheatham. That's the sound of money. Cha-ching! Now back to Tar and Feathers. <laughs> wow, this is nice here. I like it. Beautiful. Carlisle. Nice to meet you. You too. You got a last name? Of course not. If I was the law, you'd be asking for your fishing license or something like that. You're not wanted, are you? No, not wanted, nothing like that. Just seems like the law likes to hassle me. Well, maybe if you cut your hair. Yeah. Not gonna happen. No? Nope. And now, coming to theaters. Ninja Gardner. You are a good man, Shaolin. But you do not know. Monkey style. This man here, Gabby the Creeks, he's got, he thinks he's actually a ninja gardener. Here we go. We're gonna follow him. What does he do? Well, he got himself one of them little liberal lawnmowers, you know, the woods. Oh my god, the thing's falling into parts, say, because it was made in China. Tonight, on Ninja Gardener. You killed my teacher. Your teacher deserves to die. You know, down in boxing. I right, rot. Oi! Right. my special bachelor beans they're called I call them Buford's bachelor beans you know for and that's because that's my name anyway <laughs> oh, gee, a lot of times people they go and they want their good chili and they go places and they go wow that's really good you can make it yourself right at home and I did it with just going to get different kind of beans at the grocery store too. so this that's got so many different kinds of beans and all you do is just stir that up, just stir that up, and what you got is the best chili that you've ever had. Now, if you like a little bit more of something on the other, that's fine. Or if you want to leave some out, you can, because this is your taste, and these are your taste. <laughs> hey, y'all, this is Carlisle, which, you know, and uh, I've got this little thing. Now, Buford showed you his bachelor beans. This is Carlisle's paparazzi pizza. And what I do, you can get these little personal pizzas at the 99 cent store. Sometimes they have them on sale at Walmart. And But they never have enough doodads on there, right? If you got little pieces of cheese and whatnot, but it's no, no sauce hardly at all. So what I do is I get the little spaghetti sauce the can for a couple dollars. <laughs> and I'll take spread this on there to make a little bit more sauce. And then after you do that, you got these olives that you get from a, a friend of mine gets them at Costco and we split them up, you know, so we each get a jar of them. And you take this knife and you dice them up on a little personal pizza, you see. After that, you get this pepper jack. This is made by the Sunshine Company. And it uh, really makes it good when you grate it on there like Parmesan, okay, except it's got a little kick to it, kind of like the, some of the chili that you buy, you know. And time you get all that on there, man, you've got a gourmet something to eat, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's gourmet. Oh, Carlisle, can you help me? What's the matter? My little kitty, he's stuck up in the tree and he's scared. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Lead the way. Oh, please, he's just a baby. Please help him. Just a baby. <laughs> Are you 
sure is a baby. Oh yeah, he's a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. You know, I think he's just fine. No, no, he's just scared. Look at him. I bet he can get down when he wants to. You, you, you know what? You handle it. We did the best we could. I know. Oh, here we go. One blue beer float for you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. And one meatball sandwich. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, first thing you got to realize about hunting is it takes more than just you know, hitting the ball into the hole. What you got to do is realize that there's different things in the green that's going to make the ball roll different. There's going to be things that make it roll to the left and to the right and up and down and all around. So what you do... Why do you have to make everything sound sexual? I have no idea, but... No, you don't, but go on. Well, Ed, the one thing is that there's a... You want your arms to be like a triangle. You get down behind the ball like this. Oh my lord. And all you do is just swing it, just like that. Oh, oh, all rim. Buford, before you shoot, there's a, you see that, that fella out there playing guitar on the on the green, just, just saying. Up against that tree? That's him. Okay, anyhow, go ahead, take the shot. I won't hit him. Nah, he's he's over at the left. Well, here we are, folks. We're back, and here I sit with my putter in my hand. And oh, I... Lord forgive. What? You know, I hope that everybody out there got something from this here show, because I know that I had a lot of fun, and you know, golf does have some for everybody. You know, it do, and uh, it also shows to go you that you're never too old. Well, you're never too young. The sunshine east, or the sunshine west, and I know where the sunshine's best. Okay, just that was kind of scary. <laughs> There's a blooper in there right there. <laughs> we want to just thank you again for coming and sharing or what we uh, sharing with you what we did. We had a lot of fun doing that and uh, you know again this is Buford Tarrin. And I'm Carlisle Feathers. And we, we are Tarrin Feathers. Feathers. Goodbye Bye, everybody. everybody.